Howdy guys, uh, Jimmy Song here. I wanted to talk in this video about ICOs, altcoins, and their parallels to a central bank. Now, I've been reading a bunch of books on central banking and how they sort of quote unquote manage an economy. Um, in particular, there's a really good book, America's Great Depression uh, by Murray Rothbard. A really great book about just how much uh, the central bank and the Hoover administration in particular um, really exacerbated like what was a really kind of a minor problem, uh, you know, downturn in the business cycle and just uh, created all sorts of havoc uh, with the programs that they ended up implementing. Now, um, that was, uh, it, it was kind of a shocker, uh, you know, for how it sort of, uh, uh, you know, contradicted the historian account, which is that Hoover was too much of a laissez-faire guy and it was FDR that fixed it because he was an interventionist. In, in actuality, Hoover was actually a very liberal Republican, which uh, used to exist back then. Uh, and his, his policies were very much into um, you know, changing a lot of things. Uh, in particular, one of the things that he sort of forced pretty much every company to do was keep the wages exactly at the same levels as before the depression. Um, and given that the, you know, economy was deflating, you know, really they were just sort of getting raises and, you know, the market clearing price for employment, um, you know, it was way higher than that. So it, it ended up causing some massive unemployment things. Anyway, uh, I, I digress a little bit, uh, but, the, the point is that the central bank uh, at the time was doing a ton of stuff. Uh, so they would, uh, you know, buy certain bonds and then, you know, issue certain treasuries and, um, you know, sort of manipulate the market, quote unquote, manage the economy. And that's uh, that's sort of their conceit, right, uh, of every central bank is that they can manage um, an economy and know what's best for that economy. Um, you know, given what they know about like macro statistics and uh, their economist training and so on, um, that that's more or less what they do, right? Like that, that's their uh, mentality. Um, I believe that most ICOs and altcoins are essentially doing the same thing. Uh, so, you know, Ethereum is a classic one because you know they they started out um, uh, in a particular way. They they did a crowd sale then. Uh, you know, they had this giant pre-mine, um, you know, including like a huge founder's reward and things like that, uh, so that they could control things a little bit. Uh, and not actually not just a little bit. Uh, they ended up doing a giant bailout of, uh, you know, all the people that invested in the DAO. Um, you know, they, they, they've been talking about moving to proof of stake forever, uh, which is a giant change in, um, sort of monetary policy, um, they're trying to manage their economy, right? Like uh, based on sort of social good or something like that, instead of being hands off. Um, and that, that in, in many ways, that's exactly what a central bank does. Um, another, another one that's, uh, that's very clear like that is Bitcoin Cash. Um, you know, they're, they're trying to sort of encourage a particular use case for their money. They want to manage their economy by um, telling everybody this is uh, digital cash. It's peer-to-peer -peer cash, right? Like, yeah, yeah, how many times have you heard Roger Ver say that? Oh, you know, look at the title of the white paper, peer-to-peer -peer cash. Um, they they want to encourage that by uh, making the block sizes giant. Um, and of course, nobody actually uses that kind of block space. Um, and of course, it's uh, you know it's causing all sorts of spam on their blockchain. Uh, not that many people run the nodes and things like that. Uh, but you know, never mind any of that. Uh, they they're getting to manage it in the way that they want. And uh, and this is true of almost any centralized entity is that the temptation to meddle in uh, sort of the economy that you've created um, gets really, really large. And uh, sooner or later, it becomes uh, sort of like the thing that defines you. Um, it, it got to the point that when ABC and SV split, uh, that you know Bitcoin ABC had like six or seven patches, like, like back to back as, as a way to sort of quote unquote, uh, defend against the hash war. Um, 
Now, if that sounds a little bit familiar, it should, because th this is always the justification that a government gives uh, for taking away civil liberties, right? Like 9-11 uh, Patriot Act, right? Like, uh, you know, oh, we're, we're in wartime. Uh, we're going to suspend, uh, we're going to implement martial law or something like that. Uh, this is a very common thing uh, to sort of take more control uh, during times of crisis. And it turns out that government doesn't like to ever give that back. Uh, and it's only with the citizenry that that's uh, that pretty much demands it that that it gets you know back to the people. So, um, and you you could see this sort of playing out. Uh, you know, it, it certainly happened with Ethereum with the DAO, right? Like it's um, you know they they made a choice to roll back a bunch of transactions and things like that. Um, and it, it happens all the time with these coins. Um, and in that way, it's very much like a central bank, like a government, like a, an administration that gets to decide, um, okay, A is good, B is not, and uh, we're going to sort of force the market in this direction. Um, and I think that's, uh, that's not interesting at all, uh, because if, if you're going to have those people as your masters, um, might as well, you know, like why, why bother, right? Like, uh, you know, like you, you're going to have to trust these people. Um, and if you, I mean, I, I guess if you trust them, then that's fine. But, uh, you know, are you going to trust their successor? Are you going to trust uh, the people that might, you know, take over the governance of that coin eventually? Um, I mean, uh, some of them have like criminal records and stuff. Like, are, are those the people that you really want to trust your money with? I'd rather have a decentralized currency like Bitcoin. Um, and I, I think people are starting to come around to that fact. And in a few years, I think it'll be like utterly obvious that that was the case. But for now, a lot of people still have this fiction that their coin is decentralized when in fact, a central committee is uh, you know calling all the shots. Anyway, uh, those are my thoughts. Hope that helps you. This song is done.